What's up guys, Team It's Not A Backfire here. Today I'm here with Thick Rick. He's going to show us his deck profile for his Heroes deck. Uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call this deck? Uh, it's actually pronounced the Dark Law deck. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Dark Law deck. Uh, and uh, so let's go ahead and get right into this. Alright, so um, I'll be going into, uh, into uh, some of the combos later. So for now I'm just going to give you the deck list. It's pretty standard from what you've seen. All right. You got the one alias uh, to go for uh, the Shining or Koga, depending on the situation. Yep. Then you got, of course, you got to have the three shadow mist. He, uh, the damn good card. He, he gets you a special summon. You can add the mass, uh, mass change, which is what you need to go for the bay dark wall. Yep. And if he sent to the grave, um, you can add a hero from the deck to your hand. Usually, when he goes to the grave, you add bubble man. Next turn, you go for your XE's plays. You go for your uh, OTK plays. Uh, so there's a lot of possibilities with this card. Yeah, he, right. he can do a lot. Got it. So next, I got the two Goblin Berg. One of my favorite cards, just yeah. the artwork alone. <laughs> such, such great <laughs> artwork. Yeah, such gracefulness. Um, you know, basically he's here to special summon uh, Shadow Mist, you know, so I can get my, uh, right, my, so my plays Goblin off. Right, so Goblin to Shadow Mist, to, yeah. to whatever As you play. know, I'm Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. I've, I've faced this too many times, you guys. Okay. And uh, probably should have put him first, because it doesn't make sense, but uh, <laughs> two Bubble Man. <laughs> two Bubble Man. Two Bubble Man, uh, he's great for going for, for game. Um, you know, you I mean, he's an eight, 800 attack, so you just push for game with yeah, him. Yeah, you, you push for game with Bubble Man, honestly. <laughs> um, like I said, you add him with Shadow Mist next turn, uh, or before you end your turn, you set all your cards. You set a Rota if you have one, or an E Call. Right. Next turn, when it's your turn, you activate him, or you, you special summon your Bubble Man. You activate your Rota, you special summon another one since he's the only card in your hand, and you can go in, into your XE's plays. A lot of plays, shit. a lot of plays. A lot of plays with Bubble Man. Bubble Man's a shit. He is. Then you got Summoner Monk. Ah, uh, I hate this card. Yeah, you know what it, you know what it's for. Yeah, um, it's basically, I'm, if I am correct, it goes Summoner Monk into that guy right there. Into the Shadow Mist. Into, into the bay, which you'll see later. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch. Okay, and uh, that's it for the monsters. So that's how many monsters? One, two, three, four, five, just six, ten. seven, ten. Just ten monsters? You don't, you don't want to uh, run a lot of monsters. I was running twelve monsters in here, and uh, it got a bit cloggy. Right. And uh, generally, you don't really want... Like I said, the Bubble Man play is so key in this deck because you can go uh, Bubble Man into uh, Excalibur, Heroic Champion. Yeah. Go for 4k damage, another 24 with uh, with uh, Dark Law, and then Mash Change, Dark Law, go with another Dark Law for game. So I mean, yeah, there's a lot of things you could do. Yeah. All right, so, so now, let's get into the spells. Into the spells, uh, the card that brings out my bay. Yeah. You got the three Mash Change. Three of them. You got to run three of those. You, yeah, you got to run three. You can run one, but you'd be pretty <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can, but you're going to look yeah, like an idiot. You'd be, you'd be a piece of shit. Yeah. Okay, uh, you know, bring out the Mass Heroes, basically. Yep, you know, yep. Best thing. Then you got three Rota. And what do you usually search for when you get Rota? <laughs> uh, well, it, de uh, it depends on what hand I open with. If, right. um, if I open with a hand of all heroes and one Rota, okay. I'm going to use Rota to get my Goblin Bird, special summon my Shadow Mist, go into my Dark Law on your turn. Yep. Um, or, you know, Bubble Man, go for my Ultra Keepers. Depending on the situation, I'll go for a certain hero or warrior. Okay. And then, uh, worst case scenario, I got uh, a Hero Lives, I got two. I would recommend, you know, you keep it at two. One, one's good. Uh, I think two is a great number because if you open with a cloggy hand, right. um, you can activate, pay half your life points, and as this guy will tell you, uh, <laughs> paying half my life points works out more times than not because he just, shot, or uh, Dark Law just completely just destroys him. Do you uh, find that card risky at all to play? No, because it's only backfired on me once, and it was because I was Basura. <laughs> <laughs> um, another good thing... Uh, the thing about a summoner monk is um, these are really good cards, and sometimes you can't decide which one you want to pitch to get your shadow mist. Right. This is a perfect card for it, uh, and it's also a great utility card. Like I said, if someone clears your board, you got no monsters. You activate this. Let's say you're at a hundred life points. <laughs> you're gonna pay half your life points. You still got fifty left. Yeah, All that's you need a, to win a, a hefty price. A hefty price indeed. <laughs> but uh, I've opened games where the hero lives, and uh, they, didn't, they didn't get a scratch on me. Right. So next. I got uh, two Miracle Fusions. Uh, I was thinking of bumping it up to three, but since we only run uh, ten monsters, two two is a, a good number to keep it in. Okay. Uh, miracle Fusion, you know, you, you go for uh, for game. Usually, you can go into a uh, uh, you can go into the what is it, the Shining. You can go into Gaia. Um, you can even mass change your your two mass heroes into a into the contrast hero. So um, it's a great card. Again, it's another card you could pitch for Summoner Monk if you can't risk. Uh, Pitching one of these, yeah. so you know, it's a great yeah. card. Then you got the two e call. Um, I was thinking of bumping it up to three or even cutting it down to one, mm. but honestly, I like two because, like I said, in today's meta, everyone needs their graveyard, and I absolutely have to without 
a doubt, I need to get the Dark Law first yeah. turn. Because it's it's just, always good to have search power. Yeah, and um, I think in this deck, I have like a total of almost 12 ways of searching out for Shadow Mist. Right. So, um, I, I like it like this. Okay. Next, I got the probably the be one of the best cards in the deck, Mass, uh, mass Charge. Oh, Mass Charge. Yeah, yeah, it lets you recycle your Mass Change and your Heroes. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Something I just found out, which I'm stupid, but should have known. Uh -huh. um, you know, let's say you, you only run one Dark Law in the deck because you're an idiot. Because you're an idiot, because you're a fool. And they take them out right away. You can use this on them, actually, to throw them back into your extra deck and a Mass Change. So, okay. you know, you can use them to recycle your Bubble Mans, go for even more damage. More resources. Uh, yeah, some, some plays I've done is, uh, you know, I'll Mass Change my Bubble Man, go into Acid. Uh, I'll have another mass change on me. I'll do a dark law use mass change get another bubble man, and I'll have another uh, Level four bam. That's game. Yeah, and then uh, I had it at one for a while But I bumped it up to two two. I got the two dark holes It's just the the combo with dark hole and and, and dark law is just too much. No, the, no. well the regeki too. The, the I mean, regeki yeah, that's yeah, what, that's um, what I meant. dark hole is uh, the shit it is you know with a lot of decks dark hole doesn't really do much I mean burning abyss you dark hole them their effects go off, they fill the field, I mean, still though, I mean, with a lot of other decks, like uh, the Cool Ports, uh, it's a great card, you just clear their shit, um, yeah, good card, man, or, you know, I run it at two, one isn't, nothing wrong with one, uh, yeah, Book of Moon, you know, Book of Moon. Book of Moon's always good to have Book a good Book of Moon. Moon. Regeki, uh, Dark Claw, uh, Regeki is, is game. That's pretty much good game if you do that. Yeah, good game, good game, GG. Mm -hmm. Um, that's still because it wins games. <laughs> it does. And, um... I was too lazy to throw an MSTs. <laughs> <laughs> too lazy. So I'm running one uh, Rhyterius Justice. That's you know, a, just one of them? Uh, yeah. Well, I need to bump it up to two, but I just keep forgetting. Okay. But for now, I, I've had no problem with back rows. Mm. You know, usually if somebody brings out a ba if they vanities me, chances are you're gonna get rid of the next turn. Right. And I usually have enough defenses to be able to live to last there. for a turn. To last for a turn. Yeah. And go for game next turn. All right. So, so one's fine for back row, and generally I'll never have less than two heroes on my board. So I can take out two cards right away. Yeah. Usually. Uh, how many spells is that? Ah, dude, it's, a <laughs> it's a shitload. It's, it's a, a shitload. Anti spell freak. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 spells. So 10 monsters, 20 spells. Yes. 30 so far, so that must mean you're running 10 traps, no? Actually, I run I run uh, 60 cards in my deck. <laughs> oh, it's 60. I forget. Yeah. You're that guy. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm tier 1. <laughs> All right, so. Time for the traps. Okay. Um. Mirror Force, I think, is making a comeback, man. It's probably the best defensive trap you can set in the game today. Yeah. For a lot of decks, if you Mirror Force them, you know, they're going to get their effects off and come back, but at the very least, you'll end their battle phase and at you the can live another turn. Right. Now, in this deck, Mirror Force with Dark Law is just one of the sickest It's basically games. a Regeki on their turn. Yeah, Regeki, and everything gets banned, so fuck you. You don't get no effects. Um, so, yeah, Mirror Force is just... It's crazy, man. Good card, especially with Dark Law. Mirror Force, Dark Law, game. Uh, next, I uh, I run three Battle Guard Howlings. I hate that card. Hey, yeah, uh, eight of the ten monsters in my deck are, are uh, warriors. This card basically protects my warriors. Uh, you don't even have to attack them if you target them with an effect. I can target one of your monsters, right. not the monster you targeted me with, but any monster I want. You get to choose. I get to choose. Compose it back to your hand, and you take his attack as, as damage. So if uh, if you uh, target me with a Skarm's effect or whatever the monster is that banishes till the end phase, I can pick your Dante, compulse him in your hand, and you take his uh, his thousand attack damage. Nice. Honestly, this card is insane with warriors. Um, it's just great. Uh, it's really good. I, like, I love it at three. Like I said, I'll, I'll always have a hero on board, and you know they're warriors. So um, anything short of Regeki or Dark Hole, yeah. You know I, I always have protection with my heroes. Got um, it. So yeah. Then I got a compulse. A compulse. You know, of course, bottomless. Yep. And these two, um, I'm still waiting on my uh, vanities, you know, uh, thank, so, you, thank you Secret Forces for making them cheap. <laughs> so those are going to be two vanities right there. Uh, no, these right here. Uh, yeah. Torrential, yeah. you know, I, I only have 10 monsters, so I can't be, uh, afford to be uh, clearing my board. Mm -hmm. So Torrential, and I have the bunk. This is mainly for uh, for Necros, you know, um, or anyone who wants to battle fade my, my, uh, for gameplay. What this card does is... Uh, if a uh, monster effect is activated in the hand or the graveyard, negate the activation, and if I do, banish it. Yep. So, you know, I want to go for game. Very Don't good. Don't fucking bother me. All right, and that's a 40 card deck total? Indeed. All right, so let's I'm go. not tier one. I don't run 60 anymore. <laughs> 60, no, 60 was your old you. Yes. Yeah. That was the old you. That was the old me. <laughs> All right. I was a cold dude. I'm getting back to my weight. <laughs> Accurate days. Yeah. All right, so let's go All to that right. extra deck where the uh, power's at. Yes, so... You guys know uh, Dark Law because this is mainly a Dark Law deck. It basically is. Uh, this guy, in my opinion, he's probably 
the best card to come out in a long time because in you can while. splash especially them especially for the meta you can splash them in any deck because of mass change too yep um it's just he's insane he batted he's a macrocosmos on legs for your yep. opponent only and uh, yep so you know fuck you burning abyss fuck you stalls fuck you necros a lot of people yeah everyone you know um and a lot of people say he's easy to get over but honestly not a lot of people can get over a first i mean from my experience it's People have trouble getting over Dark Law short of Regeki or Dark Hole. Right. Like, you know, uh, I got my Mirror Forces. I got a... Uh, yeah, you, got, you, you can protect them pretty I well. I have my Dark Law protected. Um, secondary effect, if someone were to add a card from their deck to their hand, besides their uh, normal draw face, I can pick a card in their hand, banish it. Next, uh, I am going to be having, actually, two Mass Hero Acids. I have my second one coming in the mail. Um, I screwed up. I bought him when he was 8 bucks. I should have bought two. He's like at 15 now. Oh. <laughs> but um, Acid, he's just great for going for game. Uh, like I said, you know, about the combo earlier with Bubble Man and Mass Charge and Mass Change. Yeah. Bring him, clears your opponent's entire back row. And he has a secondary effect where all their monsters lose 300, but honestly, that doesn't really matter. What matters is that I can feel safe when going for game. Thanks yeah. to him, he'll clear the back row. Yeah. So he's just a great card. <coughs> um, next, I have uh, Absolute Zero. Absolute um, I'm Zero. sure a lot of you are aware of the combo. You know, you Miracle Fusion into Abzero, and then you Mass Change him. You mass Change him, when he leaves the field, he destroys all monsters you control. So, Mass Change him, he leaves, he comes out, so when he leaves, monsters, when he comes, traps. Yeah, so it's clear, it's, it clears the field, yep. basically. Yep, Dark Wolf. Sure. Next, uh, for game, you know, uh, Shiny. Yeah. He's just awesome card, he's, uh, he's a good card to get over, you know, to get over the high beaters. Yeah. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, Shiny. Next, a uh, card I found interesting. Um, this card is mainly for, for decks that storm the field. Uh, Satellers. Yeah. What he does, uh, Vision Hero Trinity. Um, during the turn, he was fusion summon, so the first turn, he, he's a card that you go for game with. When he, he comes out, his attack is double, so he becomes a 5,000 beater, and he can attack your opponent three times. Huh. The only thing is, uh, he cannot attack directly. Right. But uh, let's say I'm playing uh, Satellers or something like that, and you know he just has like 50 monsters on board. Miracle Fusion into this guy, he takes three heroes, um, go for game with him, he's just, he's a great card, I haven't used him a lot, but since my extra deck isn't finished, he's there for looks, uh, next I have, uh, Wonkoga, Wonkoga, yeah, yeah, for Alias, you know, uh, just, I don't use him much, but he just come in handy in certain situations, so, right, next I have, a uh, Gaia, he's a great card for going for game, uh, you know, Earth Monster, you got Goblin Bird for that, and generally, once you use Goblin Berg and he's in a grave, he's worthless to you. <laughs> so you have no problem with banishing him. Um, when he's summoned, he, uh... Shit, I forget, man. I, I haven't used him that much. Yeah, I can have your attack. So, with uh, I can pick a monster, have its attack. Right. So that's, uh, the, the, you know, the heroes. The heroes, and then what else do you got in there Next, for the I got, uh, extra deck. It's not done yet. Yep. But right now, uh, as, my, as this guy knows, uh... I run two heroic champion Excalibur. Just a real quick four thousand beater. For yeah, just, just right quick. Um, real, real quick. Yeah, he, he's great for getting over if people still run towers. Uh, I can get over just about any high beater with this card, and he's great for going for game. Uh, you know the play I talked about, Bubble Man. Um, just about every single time it's Bubble Man going into this, I'll detach with Bubble Man, bring Bubble Man back to my hand. He's the only card in my hand. Make another one. So. <coughs> But uh, how, how how does Heroic Champion respond to Exodia, though? Well, <laughs> that depends. If they synchro summon Exodia, or do they or do they draw into him? No, they're gonna overlay into Exodia. Overlay though? Yeah. But don't, don't you synchro summon him. <laughs> uh, it, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Then I got Blade Armor Ninja. Um, you know, just another card for going for game with forty four hundred real quick. Yeah. Uh, he's situational. Like most of the time, I'm going for uh, Excalibur, but um. If their board's empty, I'm going for him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it for uh, this now. I'm actually still thinning out the, the extra deck, but um, you know we'll see what else I add to it. Um, side deck. Side deck stuff. Um, this shouldn't be in here, but I just like him because I like being a dick. <laughs> Neo Spatian Grand Mole. That card sucks balls. Um, this card I recently just took out just because he was uh, too situational and you have to draw into him. He's not searchable by Rota or by Ecall. Right. So I, I took him out. <clears throat> I felt like... It's, it was taking up a space, kind of. Yeah, because I don't use him as much. Although, with this card, 
you pull them out, you pretty much can go for game with him. You can take out their Dantes, you can take out, you know, their Necros, just anything. This card is just, it's a good card to go for game with. Right. Or, you, you know, if you have nothing, you can set them face down. When they attack him, his effect still takes place. Back yeah. to the hand, so it saves you a turn. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. You know, Spatian Grand Mool. Uh, effect Baylor for Necros. I need to get more of those, but uh, Effect Baylor, just a great card, and I think... What's going to be one of the best cards in, in this upcoming format, Thunder King Rios, even though he kind of messes with my heroes. But he is a good 19 beater. He's a 19 beater. He, he pays for himself. If someone were to special summon, you can uh, tribute him, negate that special summon. Right. Um, basically, you know, Necros will search for their own cards like 50 times in one turn. And uh, then, you know, you just get kind of fucked in the ass. <laughs> so you don't want that. You know, no one likes getting in the butt. Nope. So Thunder King Riles will stop their place, you know? Yeah. For a turn at least. So Thunder King, great card. I'm thinking about main decking them, but for now, side deck. <clears throat> Next, I got a Fairy Winds. Three, wi three Fairy Winds? Uh, no, just or two. just two? Just two, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, fairy Wind for, you know, just for uh, full ports, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. It's just a good card. Uh, then, because I recently found out that heroes have a... Horrendous matchup with Satellers. <laughs> Two Light of Prison Mirrors, and it works out for me great because I don't run any lights. This also is good for uh, Burning Abyss. Yeah. Let him bring out Dante, activate this. Dante's useless. Yeah. If you didn't have a Dark Ball, you know, this would <laughs> be a good card against Dante. And then for Satellers and for Necros as well, just, just about any deck. Ojama Trio, you know, takes card. up three other monster spots. It can't be tributed. So it's just a good card to help stall. Mm hmm. <clears throat> And to be a dick, you know, which we all like. Yeah. Then you got, uh, finally, just uh, two Mind Crush for uh, Necros, anything. <clears throat> right, because, I mean, a lot of these decks are adding cards to their hand. It's all yeah. pu it's public knowledge. You got to stop that. Yeah, you have to show me what you have. And the Mind Crush with Dark Law, fantastic. Yep. Because now when, if they did have a graveyard effect, they're not going to get it. And, uh, yeah, so Mind Crush is a great card. I think everyone should have it. And uh, if I could... So uh, choose one card here that everyone needs to have. It's going to be Thunder King Riles. Everyone needs to get one now. Just because, I mean, Necros, man, they're going to destroy. I think I have a decent matchup against Necros. Um, if I can maintain uh, Dark Lost Presence. Yeah. Um, usually, well, with any deck, really. But against the main four decks, I think if I can maintain Dark Law, I can win. And uh, especially against Necros because... A lot of the times, if I banish your valuable things, you're not going to be able to get them back. Although with Necros, you kind of can, but it's very situational. Yeah. So, um, you know, Thunder King, Riles, Adam. Um, <clears throat> as for matchups, heroes destroy Burning Abyss, uh, as my friend here can tell you. <laughs> it does. Yeah, they destroy Burning Abyss. Um, I haven't had any trouble with cold ports. Um, I think, in case for some of you who don't know, Dark Law's effect still works on Pendulums. And they still get banished once you destroy them. So, Regeki, uh, his pendulums, they're done for. Yeah. Um, he can't keep recycling and go into the extra deck. So, Dark Law works on pendulums. So, uh, I'm not too worried about him. Uh, Shadals, I have yet to play, but hopefully I'll get to see him soon. Although, from what I hear... Is well, they, yeah, they're dying out. They're a dying breed. Yeah, they're Basura. <laughs> um, you know, uh, from what I hear, they need their graveyard. So, Dark Law, you know, clear yeah, off the grave. Of course, yeah. If I can maintain them. Um... What are the other ones? Necros. Necros. Uh, Necros. Um, Necros. Well, who who does have a good matchup against them? But <laughs> I, think, I think heroes have a good matchup. Uh, not good, but a decent matchup where they won't get completely raped because of the you, whole. You can still win a match. Yeah, you can still win a match with them. I mean, I've done it before, but the deck wasn't complete. the heart of the cards. Yeah, no, not even. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah. um, uh, yeah, you know, when they add a card to the um, from the deck to the hand, hopefully you pick the right one. You can banish that card they needed. Maybe it'll stop their chain of uh, searching. If not, well, you still got to banish a card. Um, this is it uh, for my side deck, and I think that's it. Should All I show right. any combos or anything? <clears throat> All right. Well, thanks for showing us a deck profile. Make sure you guys follow him. Subscribe to him on YouTube at Big Dick Kaiba. <laughs> right? That's what it says, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's actually an average Dick Kaiba. Oh. I don't, don't want to lie to the female. Yeah. Uh, Big Dick Kaiba 831. Actually, very average. He posts a lot of uh, very inappropriate things. So if you guys do subscribe, make sure to be aware of that. And this is Team is on a Backfire. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you again. And we'll see you guys next time. Blaze it. Blaze it. You don't even smoke hookah. <laughs> Eastside, get the love when I get high. Pine bottles and I forget you even exist. Rally at the cathedral, throw up the head of fist.